What's up, party people? It is me. My opponent right there. Me. <laughs> I'm just getting done with today's workout. And it was a doozy. I don't know why, but I like... I <laughs> Poking out. I like doing cardio. I have come to the... I'm not good at it. Now, don't, don't get me... Don't get me twisted. I suck at cardio. But I like cardio because I always feel drained afterwards so I did an hour of cardio today it's all I did I didn't want to stay too long because it's already almost eight o'clock at night so I did an hour of cardio which was 30 minutes on the treadmill going at a max of seven five so now because now that I know I can hit seven five y'all I'm on seven five even if it's just for 30 minutes or 30 seconds I'm on 7.5 like just getting it Looking around, just get, oh, you on 5.0? I'm on 7.5. Oh, you walking in an incline? Bitch, can't do it at 7.5. Like, I'm just rocking this 7.5, right? <laughs> so I ran between 5.5 on the slow side and 7.5 on the high side for 30 minutes. And then I did uh, 15 minutes on the Stairmaster, which I don't know how y'all feel about the Stairmaster, but I hate it. It's, it's evil. It's the most evil machine in the gym, in any gym, I don't care if they have torture chambers. The Stairmaster is evil and it's out to get all of us. I don't, it's a conspiracy, I think. But I did 15 minutes on the Stairmaster because I want to master it. I don't want to be defeated by the Stairmaster. So I, every time I go and I do cardio, which is every time I go to the gym, I try to do at least 15 minutes on the Stairmaster because at some point, in my life, I'm going to get up to where I can do 30 minutes on the Stairmaster and it's going to be a great day. So, I did 15 minutes on the Stairmaster along with the 30 minutes on the treadmill. And then, I did 15 minutes on the elliptical. Which, of course, is, you know, it's the elliptical. It sucks, but it's it's not as bad as the Stairmaster, but it's not as cool as the treadmill. It's kind of like in the middle. So, I did 15 minutes on that. So, that made my hour of cardio. And I did it at Planet Fitness. So I had a membership at Planet Fitness. And I always do this. I have a gym membership. And, you know, usually gyms require that you have their membership for a year or two years or whatever. Depending on what price you're willing to pay a month. So I think I had this one for a year. And I'm, I think, yeah, I think it was a year. And I've been inside this Planet Fitness maybe six times. Yeah. So that's $40 a month. No. $20 a month for 12 months and I've only been in here six times just giving away money so today after my workout I went ahead and canceled my membership and I kind of felt bad because I actually like Planet Fitness a lot of people talk smack about Planet Fitness oh it, uh, everybody in there is just you know not trying to get better there because they serve pizza and bagels and all this stuff listen if you want to pay your money to go to a gym and eat pizza, you're wasting your money. You can buy pizza and have it at home. But for those who go to Planet Fitness and don't partake in the things that are the reason they're there in the first place, it's a great gym. I, I love Planet Fitness. I've never had an issue with Planet Fitness. Or I've never really been in there six times. But I've never had a billing issue with Planet Fitness. I've never had a, any kind of issue for the times I've been in there with Planet Fitness. So I I would actually recommend Planet Fitness for those who want to want to go to the gym. I had the, the black card, the VIP card. It was $20 a month. It was $59 to start up. So that's one time $59 and then $20 a month. And I had access to everything in the gym. Personal training sessions, personal trainers, uh, tanning beds, which, you know, hashtag melanin. Um, and massage chairs. I didn't need any of that stuff, but I had access to it, which was great. And then the facility is always clean and people are always nice and customer service was on point. So I never had an issue with Planet Fitness. But I have to let it go because I didn't go enough. And there's no need for me to give away my money when I have more avenues closer to my house on base i have two gyms that i can go to that are free and then i have hangar five which is a crossfit gym and then i have my garage and then i have arch oasis that's five places on base all free with the same equipment here at planet fitness and planet fitness is like 10 15 minutes away from my house so planet fitness has been cut out uh, i have access until the 17th of this month but after that, I'm no longer a member of Planet Fitness, which is kind of sad, but kind of cool at the same time. 
anyway so i did my hour of cardio and i was sweat you can't really see let me see if i can find a dry spot my whole shirt there we go dry spot right there so that's dry and that's all wet right so i got my, a good little workout in and i'm i was dragging today like i did i did my run i did my elliptical and my stair master and everything but today was just killer probably because it's so late i don't know what has been going on with me and i've been working out later and later and later every day I don't know but the point is I get my workouts in even though sometimes I forget to record videos or I just work out so hard and I get so tired that I just don't do it I promise y'all I've been working out and I know I owe you guys a weigh-in video I might actually do that today because I gotta go shower of course because I'm sitting in my truck with all of this stuff on me all this sweat so when I go home and take a shower, I might as well just do another video and weigh in. But it's the end of the day, so the weight's going to be kind of off. And I really don't want to see... If I don't see... I think the last time I weighed in, I was 206. I think. I might have to go back and check the videos, but I think I was 206. Listen, I need to see less than 206. <laughs> Even though I know it's not about the scale, it's, it's not about what the numbers say. It's about how you feel, how you close it. Blah, blah blah but I want to see a little bit of a change on the scale because that can have positive effects when you're working out and you do and you're, you're you're working your little butt off it's nice to see the scale change every once in a while it ain't got to be a big number but any number will be great so any decrease in the number would be great so I'm hoping as always three pounds if I can go from 206 to 203 that'll be great so I might do, I don't know, maybe I, I, if I don't do one today, I would do one in the morning because it's the end of the day and I don't want to weigh in and, you know, I've had, I've eaten all day today and all this stuff and I just want to make sure that I'm right. So I might end up doing it in the morning with the frog, with the frog voice. Y'all know when I wake up, I do my weigh-ins in the morning. I sound like a daggum frog with, a, with strep throat, but I will probably, I'll probably do it in the morning. So I don't know if y'all noticed, but my skin has been breaking out i don't know why it's all under here on my chin under here it's been breaking out a lot so i don't know why it's doing that um i've been i haven't been doing anything different uh my diet is about the same plant-based um low fat plant-based diet but I, see this this skin looks good but this skin is a little it's a little bumpy but anyway back to the things that matter i'm about to go home and i'm going to clean up and shower and 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 relax because i'm tired y'all i'm beat planet fitness i love y'all but they it's like their machines are harder and i know this sounds weird but 5.5 on a, on a planet fitness treadmill and 5.5 on a treadmill at arctic oasis which is where i usually work out they feel like two different 5.5s like i like here the 5.5 feel about like a 6 6.2 you know, I don't know, but the 5.5 at the Arctic Oasis, I feel like I can do for an extended amount of time. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to go. I hope you guys had a great workout today. I hope you guys, and if today's your rest day, remember, active rest is the way to go. I hope you guys um, did something to make your journey count today. You never want to make a day or you never want to let a day go by where you didn't do something to further your journey in your in your workout, in your diet or whatever. You don't want to let a day go by where you missed an opportunity to be better. So make sure you did something today, even if it was, I don't know, even if it was you parked in the back of the parking lot at the grocery store instead of at the front. I don't care. Do something that makes today worth it do something that's going to get you closer to your goal i'm telling y'all as i always say it i will get mine there's nothing that's going to change my mind this time around i'm going to hit my goal weight and when i do i, I don't know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i don't know i'm gonna go for a, a, a jog I, I don't know something i would pr probably usually never do but i'm gonna do something to mark me hitting my goal and it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be big and i'm gonna bring y'all along so i hope you guys have a great day please continue your workouts please don't let a day go by where you don't do something to make yourself better make your body better make your diet better make your nutrition better whatever do something that makes you awesome because you are awesome and as always guys let's transform and let's get it